Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba, thank you for joining me. Um, so, we're playing Norway in EU4, and I was actually looking around at the war scores a bit before resuming and playing the next part. And just weird things happen with coalitions. So, I remember the Holy Roman Empire didn't join in right away, and then they did join in, but something I failed to notice was that Poland was never actually involved with the war. We called them to arms, they said they would come to arms, but they didn't. And... Poland is fighting Bavaria, but they're in their own war. It's the Papal Conquest of Nice. It's just like completely coincidental that they're at war with them. So I don't know how that happens. Um, it just, it never actually worked. So we do have to be a little bit aware of what's going on with them, but relative strength of the Alliance actually puts them way on their side. Thuringia is another person that we can do something with. Thuringia being here, this province. They have a couple provinces. They're kind of way, way down into the empire. Their capital is in the Lubick trade node, and it's, uh, it's actually got pretty damn high income. Tax income efficiency is crazy. Makes iron. I don't think we want to take anything from them. It's a little too, too much of a commitment, I think. We do have full full military access to all this because of the uh, war with the Holy Roman Emperor. So we could go down there. Thuringia! How many men do you have? Do you actually have an army that could like stop us? No. You have a total of 300 troops. Okay, well let's just go siege your capital. Maybe we can at least get some trade power from you. We won the siege of Stockholm. Okay, why don't you guys go reinforce? Hold on now. We have troops in foreign territory. Yeah, we knew that. Okay. Okay, so now we're at 20%. This is a show superiority type thing, so we're close to winning 80% of battles. England is blockading us again in Slevsig. Which is apparently out here. So why don't we temporarily grab our trade fleet and send it on over. Oh no. You can't run. You won the siege of that place? Okay. Now, yet again, I think that uh, probably Aland would be a good place to take. Sweden's war enthusiasm is going to just tank now that we have their capital. Their war exhaustion will go up like crazy as well. So I think we do this. We'll split the army. We'll send the guy over there. And then we'll take these. Split them. One to there. One to there. Meanwhile, this guy's working on the capital. There's really no... No army to contest it. This guy is got a 2-2 commander, but I don't think he's going to come up here. I think we'll just safely siege the capital of Thuringia. I am also ignoring the other participant that we can take something from, which was Hamburg. But that's actually something we can negotiate with through Sweden. So from Thuringia, I think we're going to try to get them to... Uh, to just give us trade power or something, maybe? The people have damaged our colony. Oh well. I mean, we've got too much going on in the mainland. England can't get their navy to us, or their army to us, but they are doing a pretty good job of sieging the highlands and all that. Go protect trade in Lubick again since he's hiding. Those Protestant zealots are still there in Holstein. Just making it impossible for them to do anything. Now, out of curiosity, can we catch you? Yes, we can. Okay, great. Well, let's go... Let's go try to kill the whole army. Actually, a colony gets attacked again. Maybe we just... It's not our full army. Let's consolidate regiments before we go in, and then, um, actually, let's not send in such a weak regiment. Those are, that would be dumb. Let's send you guys back to join that one. But 14 regiments versus 15, and they're down on morale. We've got a better commander. I think we'll be okay. And 49%. It's, uh, it's pretty tough to take this thing on. 
And because it's level 3, those extra artillery don't actually help. We need 6 to make it happen. So, let's just be completely risky and siege both of his provinces at once. Do we need to siege both of his provinces at once? Probably not. Let's see. Okay, so Sweden, let's just say we were talking to you and we wanted something from you. We could make you release Finland if we got you high enough, but that would cost us Diplo points, and I don't like that. Cancel your vassals. You have mains as a vassal? Oh, that's a Bavaria. Okay. Revoke your cores on stuff that was yours but is now mine. That sounds pretty cool. And it gives us prestige and costs us nothing. I think in order to get Hamburg as a vassal, we would need to occupy all of Hamburg. But Hamburg has that estuary. I really want it. I really, 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 really want it. Local trade power plus five, naval force limits, local trade power plus five. And on top of that, it's just a really good province in the first place. <laughs> it's just really, really good. Want that damn province. So instead of sieging that, let's go try to siege this one. Although they have quite an army there. This is really risky, having that much artillery all on its own. Let's hire some more infantry. Not enough manpower. Damn it. Alright, let's crush Sweden. Maybe we're trying to do too much in one war. Of course there are those guys there. Hmm. They might be trying to get too much. I mean, we did get this province. We are coring it. That's, that's pretty good, isn't it? Trying to get trade power from this guy seems kind of silly. Why don't we just piece them out? Actually, they're at high. Ally in war. Oh, weren't they just at medium? Ally in war, and they hold their capital of Wittenberg. Occupied and besieged provinces, plus 21. Hmm. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm concerned about all the, the uh, aggressive expansion we're going to pile on. If we take much more. Hey, Bavaria. Why don't you peace out? You're really close. What if I concede defeat to you and totally call you the bestest person in the world? We lose 10 prestige, they gain 10 prestige. They need the prestige. We can probably hold out for a second. Any chance they'll dip below? Oh, they're only at three war enthusiasm. A little tiny bit more war exhaustion and they'll want to peace out just because of what Poland's doing to them. Battle of Finland, that's good. Now we're going to Alans. Sounds reasonable. Those Danish peasants and these Pomeranian nationalists need to be stopped, man. If England would politely go to hell, that'd be great. Alright, so Bavaria, you're at zero now. Maybe they'll accept a white peace soon. I just wanted them to peace out. Alright, this is what I'm worried about. I think they're actually coming for this army now. The only reason they're here is I was trying to trying to piece these guys out. Alright, let's uh, try to get out of here. We do have more men coming. They might be able to reinforce. January 9th, 13th. 
Yeah, he is coming for us. 13th, 17th. We're able to still get away so far. Got to get back to friendly territory. And they've split up. They're not actually coming for us in full now, but three are coming to Mecklenburg. They've got a 3-3 commander. Um, hmm. Let's send these guys in here. We can maybe pick them up if we really need to. Colonies are getting damaged. We actually lost a colony. Again. Because I am too cheap to actually send troops over there. Colonize St. Kitts. Well, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Yeah, I think we just chase it down. Pretty good amount of money available. We have mercenaries that we could hire. Are we actually going to be able to take <laughs> Hamburg in this war? And if we did, would it really be the right thing to do right now? Because if we do that, the aggressive expansion is going to pile on. Um, we currently have four people in the coalition against us. I'd, I'd estimate it to go up to at least six or seven. Although winning this war might make Sweden drop out. Bavaria is now down to low. They'll accept white, white peace, which is fine. They won't accept anything else. We have no individual war score against them. So let's just piece them out. Weaken the alliance. Um, Thuringia. Do -do. Gosh, it would be nice if we could trap their entire army on one of these islands and then just go siege all of England. But I, I just don't really want to do that either. Let's see, if we had trade power here, we do have trade power on this node, yes? Yeah, we got 16 trade power, so if we transfer trade power with uh, Sweden as a result of the war, we would apply a lot of pressure from their node into our capital node, which would be really good. Trade income would go up like crazy. So that would be a pretty good non-aggressive expansion thing with them. Transfer trade power. Sweden will transfer 50% trade power. Sweden renounce all their claims. Costs us nothing. And we could even maybe get some money out of it. They're really close to being willing to do that. And why don't we actually go for the annul treaties with England? So we have to occupy a couple more provinces, maybe set up a few blockades of England for extra war score. And then we can get what we need. I think we'll give up on the Hamburg thing for this war. Let's actually load up the army and just pull it back. We'll go to there. We'll have all these guys head to there as well. We'll put our commander, if we can get a hold of him. Sweden was at low for a second, which is probably what we're going to need to actually end the war. Wow, we have a big army there. And we're 6,000 manpower in debt. Alright, so you can stop chasing that army around. Let's chase it around with our, our vassal's army. We've got a big army from Novgorod following us around. And Nov <laughs> I didn't even I don't even pay attention to it. Novgorod's just like, derp de derp Lapland, Osterbotten, Viborg. Sure, we'll occupy all of Sweden for you. Alright, even Thuringia is at medium. Revolts in Thuringia. Oh, that's not good for you. Hey, Thuringia. Why don't you get out of the war, too? They would totally accept my surrender? No. Okay. Well, we don't really need to negotiate with them. Okay. Relative strength of the alliance is, is on our favor now. That's really good. Even though they have tons of cannons. We have the naval supremacy, though. I think what we do is we establish some pretty harsh blockades. So we'll take one to there. And they're maintaining some of the blockades for me. Let's send this navy out and just see if we can go blockade 
England a bit, get some more score from that. Because if we can get them down to low, they'll probably just give me what I want. They're really close. What's the best way to get them? Oh, there we go, they're low now. Negative five reasons, okay. That's only like 2% war score. So if either one of these falls, we'll have it. Then again, things are going pretty well, so we could just, um... We could just totally allow them to... Allow my vassal to carpet siege this guy. It's always an option. Just, yeah, we just won two sieges. Is there anything else we could get from them that would be nice? I just, I really like the idea of getting... Getting a good ended war without any cost to it, really. Annul your treaties with Poland. Military access. Apparently they're allied with Muscovy. Oh, I should probably make them get rid of that too. Which means we'll advance our guys and we'll hang out for a little while longer. <laughs> Let's just say, don't attach this army, and then maybe they'll go do something. Local natives appear to be more accepting. Yeah, this one's actually probably gonna maybe make it, make it there. England, I don't appreciate that. How much war score do we get blockading England? Oh wow, that was a lot. Let's um, pick up two in that, one, two there, one, two, three there. This is risky because he might have a couple heavies over there. Yeah, that's fine. That's not our problem after the war's over. I don't know where his other heavies are, but I know he has like four or five of them all together. Nice. Colonial enthusiasm is always good. New mission. Okay. England still at high war enthusiasm, even though we're blockading everything now. Those blockades are worth a ton. And I think Sweden's going to give us everything we want, and then some. So yeah, annul your treaty with Poland as well. Even though it's just military access. Nope, you have no, no ability to have relationships with anybody. And annul all of your treaties. And, uh, maybe we take Lapland. No, they don't want to give it to us. Alright, this looks pretty good. 29 prestige from it doesn't actually matter, but it hurts them by 29 prestige. You get no alliances with anybody, and that's just going to end the war. And England will give back our territory, thank you, we appreciate it. And we have gained the colonialism against no, against them. We've lost that trade dispute against them. And what we did gain, though, is we gained this province, which is now coming coming along splendidly. As far as coring it goes. Gather up the non-trade ships, put them there. Gather up these military units, put them there. We have the Pass the Declaration of Indulgence Act. I think we decided against that one. We have these guys to take care of. Protestant Zealots. Man, they're going to flip that country quick. So, we have truces now with um, a lot of people. All of those guys. Like, England's not a, a potential person we can attack. We can attack England in five years. And if we do it quickly enough, Sweden and England won't be friends. We also have the Conquest CB on Brandenburg. Brandenburg is in the coalition against me, but they joined it late. They're allied with Poland and Sox Lohenberg. If we could be involved in a war with Poland at like anybody, maybe against Muscovy. 
I bet if we attack with, yeah, if we attack Muscovy, Poland will join us. So what we might do, this will, this will work out perfectly. We're 88% towards annexing Novgorod. We'll finish the annexation of Novgorod. We'll fabricate a claim on Muscovy. We'll declare war on Muscovy. Call Poland in. Poland will join because they hate Muscovy. Once we're allies in that war, we declare war on Brandenburg. Poland can't honor the alliance because they're already allies with us in another war. That allows us to just come in and chew up Brandenburg, which is a very tiny little country, but um, it's all in our trade node that we want. Meanwhile, when we, get to, when we do finish annexing Novgorod, we're going to have tons of money because all of the trade value from like all of these provinces is just going to go north. It's just we're going to make a lot more money from it. We're already making quite good income. 20 gold a month from trade. And we've got 400 ducats, so we should probably... Ah, eh, what the hell, let's just make some more... Make a whole bunch of light ships everywhere. Look at that, they're actually costing more to make because we're so high. Over the force limit. So I think we'll go that high. And then we'll cancel those other ones. And go from there. Or not cancel those other ones, sorry, disband the old ones. So, okay, well hopefully we can actually get a guy over here to St. Kitts and actually protect that thing. I do want to play the colonization game. It's just it uh, isn't really a high focus. So, all right, I'm going to take a break here, though. I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.